Hello, this is Ronan Almog. In this screencast, we will uh, generate an Excel template which will uh, use to hold uh, some uh, data from uh, purchase order in SAP. And uh, after that, uh, when the documents will, uh, will be generated, we will change some uh, documents, some Excel documents, and uh, we'll upload the data again, the change data into SAP, and we will change the purchase orders, these purchase orders. Uh, let's go to let's go to this template. I've created this template before. And what we see here is that it got a, a range or a table uh, of the PO item data and uh, uh, one field of the purchase order number so we can identify the purchase order. Let's watch the template itself. The template have got no data, just this uh, text. And this is the uh, container, this is, this is the, the cell for the purchase order number and this is the container for the range of the tables. We'll close it. What we see here that we see the, the, the cell itself where it, uh, the range will begin and uh, begin of the row. And for the purchase order number, we see the exact uh, cell. What, uh, well, we'll take this uh, range or a table, and we see that I've before um, inserted the fields that I want to use in these uh, documents. We have uh, here the, the item, item number, text, and uh, price, and some more fields. What we will see now that when I choose this uh, table and I push on this button, I can uh, choose for each field uh, that it can be um, edited because the sheet itself is locked for editing. So I can, uh, I can choose for each field if I can edit it or not edit it. So if I, uh, uh, if I declare it as edited, it would be edited in the sheet itself. Let's go and uh, generate this uh, data. Before I will delete these files. And I will run it for uh, this uh, variant, the, this purchase orders and this, um, this uh, variant. Okay, so I've got here this document that I've created from the program. Let's go inside this one. What I can see here that this, these cells are, can be edited and these ones cannot be. So what I have here, I have here uh, two columns that I can edit, the quantity and the amount. This one cannot be. I will change this for, I will change it, these numbers. We change the data and the amount of 13. Routine, and I will close it and save it. The other one also is locked for editing. Also this one. <coughs> I will change it also for uh, 10, 20. I will change all the items. You've seen before that I've changed just some of the items of the the other purchase order. Let's change all for one and we'll close it. Now let's run a program that will read 
the sheets data and will update the purchase order via uh, Puppy change. Okay, so I have to take this uh, template code uh, and then it, it knows from the customization data how to read the sheet and what to do with it. It's generic, it can be used for, uh, for other templates exactly via the template code. Okay, let's run it. It will take some time because, okay, run, the, run faster. Let's take this purchase order number and let's check it. Before, let's check the data in here. It's 2, 3, 4, 12, 13, 14. 2, 3, 4, the quantity 12, 13, 14. So it changed it. Let's check the other one that we've changed. As you can see, it's from 10 to 40, and all the amount are equal to 1. 6, 3, 7, 5. Is this one? No, it's not this. This haven't been changed. Maybe it's got the uh, arrows inside. I don't know. But the first one have been changed. This one have got no have got no changes, so it shouldn't be changed. And uh, what we've seen here that we can use the Excel as an interactive document. So. We can uh, put put it uh, with data inside, and then we can read the Excel in a generic way. Also, we can produce it in a generic way, and then we can update the data inside the SAP. As we uploaded the data, we can also excuse me, as we download the data, we can also upload it inside the SAP and we can also do it in an automatic way without any interaction from the user. Thank you very much.